Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai and today I have something special for you all. We're going to be going back into some meatloaf. I listened to meatloaf for the very first time last week and I fell quickly in love with I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. And y'all really, really wanted me to check out more of his stuff. I, you know, heard uh, from a lot of y'all in the comments that he was classically trained. He was very theatric and I really, really do love that about him. His voice is just so perfect for this kind of style. It really takes you on a musical journey. It almost feels like your front row for the best musical ever. Um, he's just so damn cool. And, you know, he, I know he's dearly missed. May he rest in peace. He was such a legendary artist that a lot of y'all knew and loved. And I really, really am so grateful to be able to start my journey with him and keep his name alive. Um, a lot of y'all really wanted me to listen to the song Paradise by the Dashboard of Light. So that's where we're going today. Um, if there's other ones you'd like me to listen to, as always, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, but if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. You never miss my videos ever again. That being said, let's get started with today's video. Okay, yeah, this is very different. I see why I had uh, probably the most amount of times I have ever had a video requested. I was after my meatloaf video is this one, Paradise by the Dashboard of Light. A lot, a lot, a lot of comments. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm seeing such a huge amount of people asking for this. I'm absolutely gonna, you know, bump it up higher on the list. Let's do it next week as soon as possible. And I see why I, I kind of mentioned in the beginning, you know, it almost felt like a, a, a musical, like we were front row for a musical in the last video in this one. It's the same thing, but it's a completely different scene. I'm seeing the range in his voice. I'm seeing so many different sides of his character. Obviously, it was more of like a Beauty and the Beast, kind of like a Dracula-esque vibe in the last video in this. It's very, I don't know, it's giving me like so much energy. It almost feels like, you know, he's uh, so electrified. Like every time he's singing, he's using his body to kind of amplify the words that's coming out of his mouth. And he's like kind of like shaking and gyrating, almost like he can't even help it. Um, But I'm loving, I'm loving the grittiness, almost like a, a, like a little raspiness. It's just so crazy seeing his range. And now I'm wondering what else he's capable of because I feel like he can do it all. Um, Her voice is also so, so cool. Uh, um, I'm assuming this is her singing. I know in the last one, y'all told me it was a voiceover please let me know. I'm not entirely sure about this one. Obviously, it's my first time listening, but I love the voice. I love, you know, how they're kind of like playing off of each other. It's almost like you're they're kind of like ping ponging. Um, but yeah, this is so feel good and fun. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I can't, I can't believe that this is coming out of his mouth. It's just so crazy. All the things that he's possible or capable of. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Let's continue. <laughs>
love how much he's getting into it. I want to hear that again. It kind of like grabs it. It's almost like it, it's like depicting what he does with his voice is like depicting, you know, someone pulling you out of the trenches is just like a nice like reach out and then just I don't know how else to explain that. He just does this nice little like he adds so much like grit to it. It makes it sound so, so much powerful. I I'm, I'm obsessed with this voice. May he rest in peace. What an um, incredible legendary voice, you know personality not just a voice but you can see his personality shine through i love his artisticness i love how you know theatrical and dramatic it can be it kind of takes you it transports you to a whole other universe because a lot of the times you listen to songs and you can relate it to your own life of course you know it talks songs about love and breakup and and moving on and, and and nostalgia all these things but when you get someone who can really kind of take you on a journey like a musical journey almost take you to a completely different universe and you're just like seeing life through a different set of lenses is kind of such a cool thing um such a wonderful thing to experience and i'm feeling that here with meatloaf he is so so incredibly talented and he did a damn good job at making music uh man incredible i want to hear that one more time <laughs> going all the way. No, 
That face right there. <laughs> that face right there. I okay. I was really not expecting uh, 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 the turn of events here. Um, I thought, okay, you know, we're we're seventeen. We're barely dressed. Honestly, everyone kind of relates to this story. Being a kid, going to prom, whatever. I feel like it's a canon event. Um, usually, you have all of these hormones, all of these emotions. And they mentioned the pressure cooker. You know, you're feeling all of this pressure because you have to. You know, it's 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 the first time. Whatever it is, whatever you you get. It. you understand we're all adults here and then i loved how it changed to the whole you know home run metaphor the whole baseball thing going through all the bases for space second grade i i thought that was so cool and the way that it just completely changed it kind of you know completely different tempo it's exactly how it is you know if you've ever seen a musical i love musical theater i just love everything about it i just love how it always keeps you on your toes and it's always so exciting and you know the way that they play on metaphors and you know make things a little bit goofy i thought that was so cool but this face right here is um, definitely one that is, uh, I, I thought it was more of like a lustful thing. He was trying to, you know, get a home run. And then I was like, oh, shit, I don't know. Now I have to answer all these hard questions. I'm only 17. It's a little bit of a um, no, pressure, no pressure situation. But yeah, um, I love that. No, let's just continue. <laughs> Come on. I can wait all night. What's it going to be, boy? Yes or no? What's it going to be, boy? Yes or no let me sleep on it baby baby let me sleep on it well let me sleep on it one of the greatest videos i've seen on this channel i i'm also loving this fade out we kind of need to bring back a good fade out i legit i mean this is a, this is very early in the morning i made myself a cup of coffee because i was you know i'm tired i had a long night and i was just you know this is one of those mornings where i just really need a really big steaming cup of black coffee and this is full. I, I have not even taken a single sip. I don't even think I need it. I feel like this gave me all of the energy that I needed today. I just felt it all like, oh, I'm awake. I don't need coffee. I don't need caffeine. Well, let's not get carried away. I'll still probably drink this whole thing after this video, but you know what I mean? It just felt like it's electrifying the way that they were ping-ponging. I mentioned that earlier. They were kind of ping-ponging off of each other, the energy, and obviously in like a more musical theater kind of um, environment, that's necessary. You need to have chemistry on stage with whoever it is you're performing, because if not, it just kind of you don't believe it. You It kind of falls flat. And this did not fall flat at all. If anything, it was just like, I, I, at points, I forgot I was even recording this video. I'm just like smiling like a whole idiot just watching this like, oh my gosh. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm recording. Uh, you know, it kind of feels like that. Like you get so immersed in, in what it is that they're trying to convey and you get so lost in this universe that Meatloaf and this woman, I, I'm so sorry, I don't know her name, they, they created together. And they were kind of painting a story that, you know, is all too relatable. Being young, being 17, being pumped full of hormones and 
you know, wanting to do things and experiment and try things for the very first time, if you know what I mean. And all of this kind of pressure, all of these expectations, and you're just like, you're just so wired. And I loved how he was just kind of like ready. He was just kind of like, you know, trying to get to that point, the uh, try to get a home run and, you know, her perspective. And then the way that they started ping ponging and vocally kind of just like uh, trying to one up each other but also not it didn't feel like at any point they were trying to step on each other's toes it almost felt like they were trying to elevate each other and kind of weirdly hype each other up to hit higher notes uh, uh, uh break more ground and that's exactly what it felt like you know it got more and more and more powerful as uh, as the emotions kind of carried on and that really conveyed uh, all of the uh, 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 angst and frustration and and kind of uh, lust that we were feeling that we've all felt, you know, they really kind of like personified that with their voices. And I thought that was such a damn cool thing. Um, instrumentally, you know, the keys and everything in the background was just kind of like such a groovy beat. And you're kind of forgetting what the song is, you know, actually, but you're like, oh, yeah, we're talking about some... Um, very spicy things at certain points and it got a little spicy um a lot spicy and uh, the whole time i'm just kind of like dancing and grooving because you kind of just forget yourself it's almost like when you hear a good beat and you can you like can't help but tap your your foot or kind of like move your hips it's exactly what it is and you're just you're just locked and loaded and just fully prepared to experience everything that's given to you and i truly truly loved everything about this um so good from start to finish obviously his voice is just uh, out of this world so 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 gritty and then soft and then you're just angsty and i don't know it was everything he's capable of it all apparently um yeah <laughs> thank you for this i'm so so glad you guys you know flooded my comments with Par uh, paradise by the dashboard a lot because I, I i saw so many i knew with the amount of comments you guys really really wanted me to see this so i knew i knew i had to do this as soon as possible and i'm so glad i did it sooner than later because man i i i just yeah my life is so much better after this. Um, thank you so much for showing me this. If there's other Meat Love songs you would like me to check out, please let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love to check them out with you. And if you enjoyed my commentary, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. I also live stream on Twitch. I would love to hang out with you all. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to get to know you guys all over there. Um, but other than that, I have videos every single day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.